All right, here's a version of the universal shift register implemented with a Boolean array. The register, when based on discrete Boolean signals, does not scale easily. With the Boolean array, you simply adjust the, the dimension of the array, or the number of elements in the array, and then you can either make the register larger or smaller quite easily. The steering logic converts these three user control signals into a two-bit selector it's actually the U8 integer data type, but there's only four operations that we need. One of those operations is hold the present value, subdiagram one, which is load parallel data. That means fetch it from here and then pass that to the register. Shift right operation that says take the present set of bits, extract seven of them, and then glue on the left serial input. Let me nudge that wire up, looks a little better there. Those are then combined together with build array and then passed to the register. The shift right operation is, or shift left operation is similar where we extract seven bits, attach the right serial in on the LSB side and then pass that off to the register. The case structure gives us a very straightforward implementation. Let's take a look at the LabVIEW desktop version of this 8-bit shift register. Once shifting is enabled, not seeing anything. Let's see if we can figure out why. This has to do with the fact that an array is always displayed with its LSB on the left side. So in, in fact, the left serial input and the right serial input I need to reverse those, at least to give the impression that the right serial input is feeding bits into the LSB side. All right, let's try an arbitrary data pattern to load into the device. All right, then we see that getting shifted out. Let's try a different pattern. And again, we see that getting shifted out. We can also change the direction. And once you get used to it, sometimes it's nice to be able to speed up the clock rate a bit. All right, this, very, this works very nicely. It's based again on the arrays.